we are here in the nursery. Means is next to me. She's taking a little nap. I just tucked her into her little spooky blanket right here. But I thought it'd be fun to hang out and pack my hospital bag for when it's go time or gremlin time, and which is gonna be happening sooner than later. And I don't even have my bags packed yet. Uh, so I figured we'd hang out and pack my hospital bag and also the baby's little bag so I can show you his going home outfit options, which I'm so excited to show you. Anyways, we're gonna jump into this. We're gonna start with my bag, which I have this bag. It has a bunch of these little packing cubes in it. I'll be using this Betsy Johnson bag that I got forever ago. It's this kind of gold floral studded situation Situation. It's pretty obnoxious looking, which, you know, is probably to be expected. But I love this bag because it's a duffel bag, but it also rolls. So it has a little handle that you can pull up and it turns into a rolling bag. So it's kind of that perfect size for a hospital stay or like a weekend getaway or whatever. Anyways, I got all the packing cubes out of there. And we're actually probably going to use these. Um, I have some zebra ones <laughs> and some just plain looking packing cubes and a couple other different ones this one's for shoes that kind of stuff okay so means what are you scared of the packing cubes i'm sorry girl well you know what it is i bet you she thinks i'm going on a trip all right let's start with toiletries because those are the little things i know i'm going to forget and i'm going to definitely need i feel like it's going to be the best feeling shower that i've ever taken in my life after <laughs> working so hard to give birth i have a bunch of bags i brought in i don't know if i'm going to condense them so first up i've got my razor shaving cream and a razor protector. This is actually the starter set from Harry's, which I cannot stop jabbing my jaws about. And this video is sponsored by Harry's, so thank you Harry's for sponsoring this video. The Harry starter set is perfect for this kind of situation, or traveling, or just in general, if you're wanting to try out Harry's. If you haven't heard of Harry's before, Harry's is a shaving brand that has everything you need for all of your shaving needs. So here I have the Harry's starter set, which I'm gonna be packing in my bag. Comes with, first of all, this weighted handle. I got this orange color. As you know, I'm a Halloween ghoul all year round. It just feels so nice in the hand and just gives you this amazing control. Also, in the Harry Starter set, you get a five blade razor and the razor cover, which is even better for travel or if you just like a nice little container for your razor to go in. Also, in the starter set, you get this foaming shave gel, which is really nice on my sensitive skin and it really does foam up. Another thing I love about Harry's is you can have the razors, you can, you can sign up for a whole subscription, have your razors delivered straight to your door which for me I don't know there's something about razors I don't know if anyone else feels this way too I feel like they're so easy to forget like when I go to the store to get some just such a process they're locked away or you have to have a code or who know I don't know like a slip or whatever it is like it's just so inconvenient to go to the store and buy razors I feel like so I love that Harry's can deliver my razors straight to my door and if you watched my bathroom clean out. You saw my Harry's razors, my Harry's products. You may have also seen Dallas's drawer of Harry's products because Dallas, which if you're new here, Dallas is my husband. He got so obsessed and went into the whole line, the deodorant, the aftershave, the face wash, everything. What started as trying a starter kit has turned into a whole new love for Harry's. But anyways, per usual, I have a steal of a deal for you if you're looking to try out Harry's. You can click my link down in the description box or go to harrys.com slash jadethelibra and get your Harry's starter set for just $5. $5 for all of this stuff. That is a $13 value, which once again is a steal of a deal. So anyways, I have this little baggie, this little clear baggie. I'm going to put my razor, my Harry's razor in there and my foaming shave gel. I think I'm going to put all my shower stuff in this clear bag. I also got these travel bottles from Walmart and I put some body wash in one of them. Let me smell this. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I can't remember. It's one of the native ones, but I can't remember. It's like aloe and something. It smells so good. Uh, so I have body wash in one of them and face wash in the other one. So I'm going to put both of these in my little clear bag as well. And I'll also put my moisturizer and stuff like that in here as well, but I'm gonna keep that in its original container and just throw it in here before I leave. I have a list on my phone of all the things I'm still gonna need, like the stuff I'm using in the meantime. Also, I don't think I'm gonna wash my hair while I'm there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably just gonna use dry shampoo, but it depends on how gross and sweaty I get, you know what I mean? I have this, this is really old. They actually discontinued this whole line, but I still have some samples, uh, but it's the Pureology Perfect for Platinum line. I loved this line. Like I am so mad they discontinued it. Okay, sorry, I'm now going on a tangent, but it's a shampoo and conditioner, just a little 
travel packets. So I'm just gonna throw them in here because I never got around to using them. Also, we have some toothpaste, some travel toothpaste we're gonna throw in here. Also some deodorant, you know what I'm gonna be thrown in here the native deodorants because i'm obsessed this is the this is from the candy shop collection this is their sour berry belts scent it smells so good so i'm gonna throw this in there and then also this dry shampoo and this is the amica or amica or i never know how to pronounce it and i should know this i love this dry shampoo it's probably my favorite dry shampoo of all time i love the scent uh so i'm gonna put this in here so this bag is done but next up, I have this bag here, this bigger kind of makeup bag. And I'm gonna put my, I have this body butter, or this Burt's Bees belly butter, uh, but I think it'd be great for all over. Uh, but my sister-in-law gave me this when she found out I was pregnant. She sent me a little care package and she sent this. It's just this Burt's Bees body butter. It's nice and moisturizing, super creamy. Also, I'm gonna throw a hairbrush in here. This is my Tangle Teaser. I'm gonna throw that in here. Also, I'm going to throw in a scrunchie for good measure and just a regular little hair tie we're going to throw in there. Oh, I forgot my floss and my toothbrush. We got my toothpaste in there, uh, but I have some floss and I'm just going to go ahead and go with a fresh toothbrush because we don't want to be forgetting the toothbrush. That would be horrible. I definitely don't want my baby's first smell to be my dragon breath. <laughs> and also have some of this Earth Mama Organics organic nipple butter <laughs> hello everybody welcome if we weren't already family we are now because we're talking about nipple butter but this earth mama nipple butter and i got these i've heard good things about these so i'm gonna bring them because might as well start early uh it's these silver nursing cups they're kind of like nipple covers i guess is what they are that are supposed to help prevent cracking and bleeding and all that kind of stuff when you're nursing um but it comes in this cute little case and then you just open it up and and there are these silver little cups that just go over your situations so i'm gonna pack them we'll see how it goes i also want to put in some of these makeup wipes but i think other than my moisturizer and my makeup, which I'm going to bring makeup, but I don't know if I'm actually going to wear it. Um, I'll pack all that later because I use that every day. But I'm going to put this, like the shower stuff, into this bigger bag. And then we'll zip it up. Okay. Here we go. I feel good that we're packing, everybody. I'm glad we're doing this together. What else? Okay, so in this kind of black snake skin looking fancy pouch. I think this is going to be more of a pouch that stays closer by uh, just with some of the things that I'm going to need on hand. So this stuff will go in the bathroom and then this stuff will stay closer by. Um, so I'm going to put the nipple butter and the covers actually in here because I'll probably need them. Um, I'm also going to pack a couple of more hair ties. So I have regular hair ties and then I attached a bobby pin to each hair tie and also this black kind of satin silky feeling scrunchy. Uh, also, I have a couple of different lip balms. I have this, this one's from ColourPop. This is from their Powerpuff Girls line. This is their overnight lip mask. But I'll show you what it looks like. It's a really nice lip mask. I've heard, I don't know if it's because of the breathing or the environment or I don't know what it is, but I've heard your lips get really dry when you're in labor. So uh, I got this overnight lip mask and <laughs> I have this Mountain Dew Baja Blast. You know, we gotta be blasting. Bring the Baja Blast with us to <laughs> give birth. So I got this Baja Blast chapstick put in here and also this little mini native deodorant i have the bigger one for my bathroom area and then i'm gonna have a little mini one uh, just to kind of touch up maybe or if i'm feeling a little sweaty i'm gonna have this little one or just in case i forget uh and then i don't know what else i'm gonna put in here we'll, we'll set this aside for now because i think that's it for now and then it said in my little booklet like i got a whole little booklet of like what I need, I'm getting sweaty. Maybe I need to use that deodorant, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, it said the things I needed to bring and all that kind of stuff. It said mainly toiletries, a pillow, a blow dryer, clothes, and a lot of the stuff like the, not toiletry stuff, but like the care, personal care products, they said that they have. So they said to bring your own toiletries, but as far as pads, diapers, 
Perry bottles. They have all that kind of stuff they're going to be giving me. So they said not to bring it. So I'm not bringing it. So I got the sound machine for my shower. And I thought about, somebody mentioned it. Oh no, not one of these freaking, no, these stickers of doom y'all. So somebody, I can't remember what I was watching or where I saw it or if it was a list or I can't remember or my, on my group, my little pregnancy group thing. But anyways, regardless, I saw somebody mention bringing a sound machine to the hospital uh, that, and I have this little portable one uh, because sometimes it can, depending on the time of day or what's going on, it can get a little bit loud or there might be little noises or whatever. And I don't sleep in complete silence anyways. I always have a fan running. So I wake up to every little tiny sound. So I feel like this will definitely be helpful for me. So I have this little portable sound machine, but I thought that was a really good idea to have a little sound machine. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds already so soothing. That's so relaxing. And it also has a charger. Where am I putting my charger stuff? So in this little makeup bag, I love using old makeup bags, by the way. If you watch the what's in my bag videos, then you have seen my obsession with <laughs> holding on to these old makeup bags and using them to organize things in. So I'm gonna put my little charger for my sound machine. And then my sound machine, should I put it in there? I was gonna put my sound machine and my fan, cause I also have this. I guess I don't need both. I could just use my fan at night, but I don't know. I'm gonna bring both because I'm extra. I'm a first time mom. We have to go above and beyond. <laughs> um, but I also have this, I guess this came out of nowhere, but I have this portable fan that has these little legs. Actually, somebody from the Spooky family sent this. Thank you so much for sending this, by the way. But it's this fan, and I got it for the stroller for summertime, just in case the baby gets a little hot. Although, I'm not planning on pushing him around when it's super hot, but just in general, if it's a little toasty, like I just wanna have some air circulation, you know? But once again, thought it'd be handy to have, and I can attach it, like wrap it around the arms of the hospital bed, and have it fanning me while I'm in labor. I feel like, I, you know me, I do not like being hot. It's a miserable Marie moment, a moaning Myrtle moment. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I feel like we need this when we're out Halloween decor hunting. I just need to be, <laughs> we're walking in the parking lots. <laughs> I'm gonna need this. Put this in this zebra bag, both of these. And then I'm gonna put the cords though in this baggie all the chargers and then I also have a phone charger this is an extra long phone charger and what else oh and should I put my Kindle in there or should I put my Kindle in this thing with like my bedside stuff maybe I'll put it in my bedside stuff does this need charged oh it means feel that does that feel good she likes that her ears are going all over the place okay oh oh multiple settings this is definitely powerful what's this oh another one my eyelashes are gonna fly off they're like fluttering in the wind I forgot I have my airpods too and this cute little candy corn case everybody one of y'all in the spooky family sent this to me so once again thank you I love it you just open the little candy corn and your airpods are in there it's so cute okay Anyways, what are we doing? We're putting this in the electronics bag. All the bags within the bags, within the bags, everybody. All right, next up in this little bag, I'm gonna put my sandals. I'm trying to think, I wanted to bring these, my Ufos, my grandpa sandals, if you know, you know. If you don't know, these are my orthopedic sandals that I'm obsessed with. I had not the, um, my mom has the plantar fasciitis and she loves these too for that. Uh, but I had the metatarsalgia, which is like pain in the ball of your foot. But these UFO sandals saved my feet. They look like grandpa sandals. I wear socks with them. It's a full on dad grandpa moment. But you know what? My dad would be proud. <laughs> By the way, I'll link these in the description. Uh, if you're if you heard that and you're like, wait, I need to try those. Um, I'll put these in the description for you because I tell anyone and everyone who will listen <laughs> about these. Now I just feel like I'm preaching about these, but maybe I am preaching about them because they're that good. I was really 
I, I couldn't find one thing that helped. And some of you actually have tried these scents and you said that they worked for you too. So I don't know, maybe they don't work for everyone, but anyways, I'm just putting my grandpa sandals in here, but, but I wanted to bring these ones over the flip flops, I think, because these ones I can wear socks with them. So if it's a little chilly in the hospital, I can wear my socks with them or with the flip-flops I can't wear socks with them so next up let's talk about let's do clothes and then we'll do snacks and then we'll do baby stuff so for clothes what do we got I have brought options because you know I love a good option but I know for sure I'm bringing this robe just a really really soft black robe and it's like kind of that jersey material you know real soft real thin and I thought this would be nice because I don't know, first of all, robes are the worst to fold. Can we agree on that? <laughs> Maybe I'll just fold it and then roll it and then put it in this. I'm gonna put everything in these little cubes. I'll try to find these cubes again and link them in the description. Uh, but I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing after I have this baby. It might be minimal because <laughs> we're gonna be doing skin to skin and that kind of stuff. So I wanted to bring a robe, but I wanted to get a robe for if, you know, if people come in the room you know, like family or whatever. And I just want to cover up a little bit. You know what I mean? I can have a robe wrapped around me. So I'm going to try to put all the stuff that I'm probably going to use right after birth. Like not my going home outfit. This is going to be all my hospital clothes stuff. So I have a couple of nursing tanks. I'm going to bring two of these. These are just these kind of, they're that kind of compression material, but they're not super compressing. But enough to where you feel supported, but not too much to where it's like, you know, a binder or anything like that. Really stretchy tank top. And then it has the nursing clips to where you can unclip and you can nurse. So I'm going to do two of these. I'll stack them on top of each other to save space. And I'm bringing two of them in case one you know, like I leak through one of them, which is probably bound to happen. Um, I'm also going to put some pajama pants in here. I have these Tommy John ones. Let me tell you, this waistband on this pair, this super thin waistband, and look how stretchy that is. These have been amazing throughout my entire pregnancy. Like I'm still wearing these. These are a size small. I didn't have to buy any other pajama pants because these are so nice and stretchy. I mean, I will say the top, not so much. The top <laughs> is busting at the seams at this point. So we got our nursing bras. I have a couple of different nursing bras in a couple of different sizes. I got these off Amazon and I really like these. I have, you know, some bazookas. I'm gonna put that out there. <laughs> uh, but around my uh, rib cage or, you know, my, my band size, is a little bit smaller so i like that these have the adjustable band area so if you need more room you just loosen it if you need to tighten it you tighten it so two different sizes of the nursing bras i got a large and an extra large um so those are the sizes i got just in case i really like the large size right now but i feel like once my milk comes in i'm gonna be an extra large ghoul for sure and i know some people are gonna be like oh no i didn't even use a bra like i'm not even gonna wear one it's a whole trap it's a whole contraption that I didn't even want near or around me in the hospital. But I'm one of those ghouls where I really like support. I have these maternity, I have a, I have a maternity tank top that I'm going to put in here. This is super soft. Once again, a really soft jersey material, really lightweight. I've heard the sweating is real after having a baby that you just sweat profusely. So I thought maybe a tank top, if like the compression material of the nursing tank or cami is a little too hot and constricting, I have this really nice soft one I can always wear. And then I also have a short sleeve shirt like it's like a kind of like a v-neck once again really soft jersey material same material as this tank top it's from amazon like the amazon essentials i'm giving myself some options maybe i'm overpacking. i'm not sure and i didn't get a gown i don't know let me know down in the comments do i need to get a gown but i don't know if i'm, I'm not gonna lie i don't know if i'm a gown ghoul i don't know if, I, if i'm into gowns i kind of am a, a pants person i'm also gonna throw in some of these i have a couple sock options it said on the list that the hospital gave me to bring socks. Where's my other pair? I have these kind of yoga socks is what they are. I use for yoga where they have the little grippies at the bottom. I'm just going to bring them as an option, but I'll probably end up just wearing my plain black socks. Where are they? I had some spooky socks too, but 
I don't know where they went. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. This is the most, like, I've never known less about something in my life. <laughs> okay, so the next pouch we're gonna do is our going home pouch. So I thought of a couple different options. It's gonna depend on how I feel, like what I, how constricted I want the belly to be, you know what I mean? Like I don't know if I wanna wear sweatpants, like loungy, baggy sweatpants, or if I'm gonna wanna wear like compression leggings. Like I've heard different sides to this, that some people, the compression is too much on their stomach after birth, and other people feel more supported when there's something. Oh, are you growling at me? Do you wanna be cuffied? The first option, I have these Tommy John sweatpants. These are so stretchy again and really, really soft. These are really comfortable, so I thought these would be perfect to go home in with maybe either a t-shirt or a tank top or a sweatshirt, depends on the weather. It's May in Kansas City, so that means it could be snowing or a tornado or it could be 105 degrees you never know <laughs> and then the other option i have these maternity kind of compression leggings they're not super compression once again they have a lot of give to them and they're not super thick they're just that perfect thickness to where you feel supported but you don't feel like it's squeezing you to death uh so i'm gonna bring these maternity uh, leggings just in case I want something a little bit more supportive so and then I'm gonna bring this super soft oversized t-shirt that I got from Walmart uh, this Michael Myers t-shirt this is really really soft and then they'll be perfect with leggings sweatpants or shorts whatever I want to wear it with um, and then I thought about do I need a sweatshirt do you think like a hoodie I thought about bringing this hoodie I don't know I feel like with a hoodie though like I feel like it'd be really easy to nurse with a hoodie on because you can just unzip it and I can square my bra underneath it's a little bulky, but we'll make it work. Um, and then I'm gonna throw this towel in there too. Oh, actually I'll throw the towel in with the hospital like stuff, the, cause I'll probably bring this into the bathroom with me, my change of clothes. So we're just gonna zip this up. I think that's it for the clothes. Um, also I wanted to pack some snacks because the nurse said she didn't know how many uh, gluten-free options were on the menus or snacks and that kind of thing or in the vending machine so she said to bring my own snacks so I'm going to do that uh, I'll probably get some other snacks too like we need to go to Costco I'm probably gonna get some of those little chip bags you know the little bags of chips so I got this nature's bakery nature's bakery gluten-free fig bars these are so good some of my favorite so I'm gonna put I have a Ziploc baggie I'm just going to put all of them in here. There's nothing worse than not having a snack when you're hungry, at least for me. Um, anyways, I also got these Bobo's Lemon Poppy Seed Oat Bars. I had the chocolate chip Bobo's before, and they're really good, but the lemon poppy seeds sound really good. And these are, they have the pack full of oats and stuff, so they're really filling, which is great. So if I need something that's a little more filling than some of the other stuff, then this, these Bobo's are great. So I'm gonna put these in here. I also got these blue diamond almonds. These, if you know, you know, spicy dill pickle almonds. You know I had to get these. These are my favorite snacks. And then I also got these confetti cookies. These Cybels. They're soft baked gluten free cookies. Do I have like another bag? I can put these in. All the snacks can go in here because I'll probably want to keep them separate, like in a separate little area in the room. Whatever, they're all ready to go. Then let's load this baby up. We'll see if all this fits. We're getting these things in here. And then we might need like a purse or like a tote or something for the toiletries, but I'm not sure yet. Almost there though. Can we fit the shoes? I feel like we're so close. We'll put my shoes in here. And then all my toiletries and stuff we'll put in my purse. So I'm back. I have this Killstar bag. This is kind of like a larger tote kind of, I don't know what's called a tote. I don't know. It's just a large purse. And I'm going to put my, this is all my bedside stuff, like my Kindle and my uh, chapstick and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, also all my toiletry stuff I'm going to put in here. And should I also put my snacks in here? Might as well my snacks in here and then I'll also put my wallet and those types of things my phone that kind of stuff in here as well so 
I have my fully packed tote and my fully packed suitcase and that feels so good to have that done I'm not gonna lie I've been it's kind of been weighing on me because I'm like well what if I uh, <laughs> go into labor right now and nothing is packed I mean I'd be fine but the last thing I want to do when I'm in pain I'm sure is pack a whole bag of stuff not even know all right so moving on to the baby stuff I'm so excited about this I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit this whole briefcase in here because I kind of wanted to bring this baby briefcase I showed this in my what was it my baby shower haul my mom's friend got this for me and it was the best idea ever except now it has a sticker of doom on it We'll work on that later, and this isn't even a picture of my baby on the front, everybody. <laughs> I have this backpack, this backpack slash diaper bag. It's black and white striped. You know I had to get a beetle baby slash black and white striped diaper bag situation. <laughs> the bag is completely empty at this point. So I'm going to put this briefcase, this baby, wait, how do I get this back? Oh, I see. This baby briefcase, I'm going to put that in here. Then I was thinking for the hospital, for his first little swaddle, maybe for pictures. <laughs> One of y'all in the spooky family once again sent this. I am so excited about this. This, uh, it's like a swaddle blanket. It's all these bats all over it and a matching hat. So it's the matching hat with the swaddle. I also, I know they're going to have burp cloths and all that kind of stuff there, but I figured I'd bring a burp cloth to have in the bag just in case on the way home. Who knows? what could happen in 20 minutes <laughs> so i figured i'd bring one burp cloth just to have for the ride home all right so we're going home outfit oh my gosh i'm so excited so it's gonna depend on what size he is right now in the womb he's six pounds 13 ounces so i'm like okay is he gonna be a newborn or is he gonna be in zero to three months i don't know so we're gonna bring options just in case so option number one for newborn this super cute once again this came from the spooky family the super cute black and white striped onesie and these cute little black joggers these are so tiny and then for a hat where's this hat i was thinking just a black hat to go with this whole little outfit and these super cute little black and white striped socks that go with the whole, it's a whole Pugsley Adams vibe, everybody. So is this the, the other newborn option? Yes. I brought another option just in case, because in case it's cold and he needs a long sleeve option, I have this one, this little spider web. <laughs> How cute is this print? I'm obsessed with this whole print. I got it in another size too. I can't remember if it was zero to three or three to six or something like that, but this is so cute. So this is another option for newborn. So I also have some options for zero to three months. Uh, this little set, if it's warm out, I was thinking this set, this is so cute. This little gray <laughs> t-shirt and jogger set. These little ghosties, I don't know if it's in focus. Come on, focus on the ghosties, they're so cute. But this print is so cute with the little ghosties floating around. And I was thinking with this outfit, these cute little socks, these little ghosty socks that say boo on them. And this thermal, this white thermal hat that will go with the whole little outfit. I thought would be really cute. And then for the other option, just in case it's a little cooler out, uh, but this black sleeper with all these little stars all over it. This is so cute. And these little footy, the little footy pajamas. So yeah, we have a couple of spooky going home outfits that I'm all excited about. Let's fold these up. Means are you really, you got a good spot there, girl. Are you alive? Oh yeah, she is. She's fine. <laughs> it scares me every time, everybody. It scares me every time. And then she moves and then I can breathe again. Okay, so I'm gonna fold these little guys up and put them in the bag and I'm so excited for these little outfits. Do I need to put it in a little thing? We have this little one left. Maybe we do need to put it in there and make it easier. Anyways, I'm just gonna actually putting it in this cube is so much better because there's so many little parts to these little outfits. I can't wait to put him in his first little spooky outfit, everybody. I'm so excited. And that makes it super convenient. So I can just put it right in, right in the bag. That's so much easier 
than putting all the little things in there. And I think that's it. I think we're packed and ready to go. And all we have left are the things like makeup and the things that I'm gonna be packing pretty much when I'm in labor. But anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and packing these hospital bags and, and the little baby gremlin will be here before we know it. And I can't wait for him to meet the spooky family and for the spooky family to meet him. And uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey ghoul hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also let me know if I forgot anything, if you have experience with this kind of stuff, if I forgot anything or a must have hospital item that I need to get before it's go time, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, if you have anything else you wanna chit chat about down in the comments. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so, so much for being a part of this journey and I will see you guys next time.